What's going on guys, it's your boy J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today I'm going to show you guys my King's Fall hard mode raid rewards from this past week on all three of my characters. So I was able to get the raid done three times last week and we were able to get some pretty decent rewards. So without further ado, let's get straight into my rewards from last week. Starting off with my first character on my Hunter. From the totem checkpoint, we were able to get two uh, Moldering Shards and a Kingslayer Ghost Shell at 310. Currently, that is the highest Ghost Shell I have, so looking for something higher to improve my light level across all my characters. And then heading into the War Priest section, we were able to get two more Moldering Shards and a Harrowed Elium's Frenzy Rocket Launcher, and that one came in at 313. So I'm probably going to use it as infusion fuel because I really like the machine gun over the rocket launcher from this raid. And then heading into the Gogoroth checkpoint, we were able to get just two moldering shards and a dark hollow grasp gauntlets, the normal mode version. And pretty much once you hit a certain light level around 310 or so, uh, you don't really benefit too much from the normal mode armor pieces. You can, I guess, benefit from some of the normal mode weapon drops. Uh, just in case you want to level up some of your lower level weapons. But the armor pieces don't really help that much once you get to a certain point. Heading into the Detzinger checkpoint though, we were able to get a hard mode cloak. And we were also able to get a Silence of Iran shotgun as well, I believe. So we got the Silence of Iran and it came in at 310, I believe. And the cloak of seven bones was 316. So that was pretty good definitely helped my light level because that was my first hard mode class item and that 310 shotgun was actually not bad that was the highest possible for the normal mode version of it so that was always pretty good to use as infusion fuel as well and then heading into oryx on hard mode we were able to get an exotic from this chest so we got the sealed ahamkara's grasp gauntlets we got the harrowed anguish of dry sand auto rifle and we also got the chest piece, I believe. So we got a 310 gauntlets there. We got 314 for the auto rifle, which was not bad. I can always use it as infusion fuel. And we got the chest piece at 302 because it was the normal mode version. So not the greatest ones. I'm not even sure if you can get a higher than 310 exotic from Oryx. But um, I don't believe you can. So that was a decent reward. At least I got an exotic and a primary. Moving on to my next character on my Warlock from the Totem Checkpoint. We were able to get two Moldering Shards, two Kingslayer Shells, and a Harrowed Midas Reckoning Fusion Rifle. So the Midas Reckoning was 313, and the Ghost Shells were 310 and 304. So that was kind of unlucky on my part. My Hard Mode Ghost Shell dropped at 310, which is the lowest possible. And I'm still looking for a higher Ghost Shell than that, so... That was kind of unlucky. At least I got the Midas Reckoning though. I can always use that as infusion fuel as well. Heading into the War Priest checkpoint. We didn't get much here either. We got a Defiance of Yasmin and two Moldering Shards. And that is the normal Defiance of Yasmin. So nothing too special there. I believe it came in at around like 304 or something. So not the greatest there as well. Then moving on to Gogoroth, I got super unlucky once again. We got two Moldering Shards, and that's it. So I was kind of surprised. I thought when you do it on hard mode first, you pretty much get two drops on every boss fight or every checkpoint. But apparently, I got unlucky and just got two shards there. So that was kind of unfortunate. But going into the Dead Singer checkpoint, we were able to get two Bonds, two Moldering Shards, and a Silence of Iran shotgun once again. So the shotgun was 303 and my two bonds, the normal mode version and the hard mode one. We got a normal mode one at 306 and the other one was 317. So that was really good. The bond pretty much was my best reward there so far for my warlock. And I was able to benefit in light level from there. And then finally on my hard mode oryx kill for my warlock, we got the Midas Reckoning and Harrowed Anguish of Dry Stand. That's pretty much it. And uh, my Harrowed Auto Rifle was 310, so that was kind of unlucky once again. That is the lowest possible for the Harrowed weapons. And then we got a Midas Reckoning, the normal one, so it wasn't over 310 either. So kind of unlucky there on my Warlock for that full run. Uh, pretty much this Worm God's Boon was the only benefit that I got or only good drop that I got from the whole run on my Warlock. 
Heading into my Titan finally on my last character for the totem checkpoint. We got two more Kingslayer shells and Moldering Shards. And I finally got a higher than 310 Ghost Shell. We got a 312 one there. So that was finally a little bit better than the previous two raid runs. And then heading into the War Priest checkpoint on my Titan. We are able to get the Harrowed Defiance of Yasmin Sniper Rifle. Also, two Moldering Shards and an Elium's Frenzy Rocket Launcher. So, pretty decent here. My Harrow Defines a Yasmin that I had on at the moment was at 311. And the one I got was at 312. So, uh, small little improvements there to my Ghost Shell and my Sniper Rifle so far on my Titan. So, uh, going pretty decent so far. At least I'm getting small light level improvements here and there. And then heading into the Gogorod checkpoint on my Titan, we were able to get a couple armor pieces here. We got two Moldering Shards along with the War Newman's chest and the Harrowed War Newman's fist. So pretty good there. The chest was normal mode, so it's 304. And my gauntlets were 314, so pretty good. It also had Intellect and Discipline and Pulse Rifle Reloader as well. So that was pretty solid there. Uh, that was definitely a good drop. I can always level that up because I use Pulse Rifles in a Crucible as well. So that's going to benefit me in PvP also. Heading into the Dead Singer Sisters checkpoint. We also got pretty lucky here. We got the Mark of the Old Challenge which is the hard mode a class item for the Titan. And it came in at 315 as well. So pretty good stuff coming in for my Titan. We got two pieces of armor. We got the Defiance of Yasmin and a Ghost Shell. So pretty good. My Titan seems to be the luckiest one here so far. And then finally on the Oryx kill, we got two Moldering Shards. The Doom of Chelchis Scout Rifle. Uh, another Defiance of Yasmin regular one. And a Harold War Newman's Boots. So that was pretty decent. The boots came in at 310, which was kind of unlucky. But the boots I had prior to that were only 302, so it still held my light a little bit as well. So that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. Let me know what you guys got in the comment section down below from your hard mode raids. If you guys got so many cool rewards. And that's about it for this video once again. The grind continues going into next week. Hopefully we get some better rewards as we try to grind closer to 320 light. Uh, it's a lot harder to hit the light level now, the highest light level. And it's a lot more of a grind because it's all luck based. Like I said before in previous videos, this game is a lot of RNG. So that's about it once again and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace!